Well, you guys, I am actually headed out on what is looking like it's gonna be a really fun little adventure, a little solo shed trip, kinda out in the middle of nowhere. See if we can't turn up another big shed. I'm still on my mission of finding a 100 inch shed, so that's kind of the hope. So it is Friday afternoon, it's 1.38 in the afternoon, and uh, I have until tomorrow afternoon. So I'm hoping to get a good six or seven miles in tonight, and then another 10 to 12 miles tomorrow, and hope we can turn up another giant. All right, you guys, we made it. We are out in the shed hills. If we only find one big shed between today and tomorrow, that's all I that's all I care about. So that's my goal, one big shed. A big brown would be awesome and the match to Carrie's shed from back in the day would be freaking sweet too. Looks like I got to this spot a couple hundred years too late. Look at that. That looks like a pot just got busted right here. Smashed to pieces. Or a couple pots smashed to pieces right here. Looks like two different ones. No, three different ones. It's interesting that that one has coloring on the inside. So that's pretty sweet. That's the biggest pile of pottery I've ever seen. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I wonder how old this stuff is. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> nice. Finally! Yes. Okay. I got a decent shed. I can't tell if it's going to be old. It's definitely white but I don't know if it's gonna be a chalker, or if it's gonna be a year or two or three old. So far a pair all I've found are sheds that are like this one on my back, where they're like, <laughs> feels like hundreds of years old. So I gotta go get this thing, see what we got. Oh, she is, finally. I don't know if it's got extras, I don't think it does, but it looks like a good shed. And look at that, there's a balloon in the background. Check this out. Shed and balloon. Yes, finally. Is it ancient or is it newer? It is definitely in better shape than any of the sheds I found, but it still is kind of an older shed. I'm not complaining. That's a cool one. That's definitely a keeper pile shed. I'm gonna guess it's probably six, seven, eight years old, but it's really in good shape. It's in better shape than any of the ones I found up here. So he's cool. He's got a cool eye guard. He's got some good mass. He was starting to grow a little fifth right here, but it didn't grow out. So the lucky balloon found me a shed. That's cool. We'll go get the balloon next. That thing's cool. Well, it's not my birthday, but it brought me some luck. Anyways, <laughs> pretty sweet. Clean up the garbage, pick up a shed. Didn't find the match. That's okay. I'm just happy to have found something. So that'll go in the backpack, and that'll go on the backpack. Sweet. I'll let you guys know if I find anything else. All right, Talon is looking a little dusty. That's okay. So here's what we got going. There's the two sheds from earlier tonight. We're gonna do a little jet boil with a little peak refuel chicken alfredo pasta. So that should be 
super delish. We've got some s'mores snack mix, some trail mix, some Werther's, some Hershey Kisses, Built Bar stuff. And then over here, there's my little campfire. Couldn't find any round stones, so I had to round up some big flat square ones. A little camp chair. And then here's what's up for bedtime. Got my pillow over there in the talon. And uh, we're just gonna grub for a minute and then we're gonna hit the sack for the night, wake up and see how day two goes. All right, we are back at it for day two. Just starting to put some boot tracks down. And uh, spent half the night trying to decide where I was gonna go in relation to where I set up my little camp there. Cause it's about a 30 minute drive from where I was yesterday. And uh, I finally decided to just come back out and hit this same spot. And the reason behind that is of course, I would love to, and I've mentioned it <clears throat> before, I'd love to match up Terry's buck. I found that nice big four point yesterday and it was a nice four point and I'm, as I looked at it and as I have looked at it this morning, I feel like it could be kind of that same time zone. And so I thought, well, maybe if those bucks back in that time were hanging out on that ridge and then they moved over to the ridge where Carrie and his dad found that big buck then maybe that's where he dumped his first side. I don't know. But for some reason that thought just won't leave me alone. So I decided I'm just gonna come hit this area again. There was enough fresh tracks that there's a chance of finding something newer. Um, but definitely it seems like Chalk City zone. So who knows if this was the right choice. You always just have second guesses and you doubt yourself, but you gotta eventually just pick a spot and confidently roll with it. So that's what I'm gonna try and do today, guys. So bear with me and uh, cross your fingers, pray to the shed gods that I'm gonna find some luck. So let's see how it goes. Guys, check this out. People tracks. First time I've seen people tracks here heading that way. So I thought, well, I'm going to bomb off this direction. <laughs> and look what I just found up in there. It's not a deer shed. It's a freaking ram skull with the sheaths in there. I've always wanted to find one of these and I freaking just did. Look at that. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Thank you people and your people tracks. Look at that. I gotta freaking get in there. It is tight up inside all that crap. That is cool. No way. All right, we're gonna bomb up in there and see what we can dig out. Alrighty. Check that out. That is so cool. What do you think, Mare? What do we find in here? Alright, watch out, honey. Watch out. No. Move. Here, you smell this one. Here, you can have this one. <laughs> Alright. He is cool. He's in good shape. Sheath number one. All right, and sheath number two. This one's the one kind of in the dirt. Oh, dang. Kind of got a little rot on it because of being in the leaves and stuff, but that should clean up pretty good. Heck, yeah, you guys, what a cool find. I've always wanted to find one of these. 
So this is pretty lucky if you ask me. Alrighty, we got him out. Let me show you guys. He's a pretty good sized ram actually. Let me show you. Look at that, he's super, super cool. My dog likes him. Needs a bit of cleaning up and hopefully I'm correct because I am in the state of Arizona and in the state of Arizona if you find a deadhead you can keep it so long as there's no flesh or hair attached and there is definitely no flesh or hair attached so I'm hoping that means that I can just take it home luckily I do have some service here so I can make a phone call to make sure but pretty sweet i'm gonna make that phone call and then i'm actually gonna stash this thing because they are heavy and i don't want to be dragging that thing around with me all day but that is dang cool guys i think i just matched up my shed i got a good one right there you see it <laughs> heck yeah this, guys, this is such a hard place to find a shed. So the fact that I just found the match is freaking sick. Oh yeah. Bear. Yeah, matched up. Boom, baby. I mean, it's not a giant, but it is a big buck, so I'm psyched. Look at that. Matched up. Heck yeah. He's a cool deer. I'm gonna take some some ATL picks and then I'll get the pick up for you guys. The chalker, just like the other one. But he's a nice big chalker. So we'll take him all day, especially since we matched him up and he's a set. That makes it even cooler. Heck yeah. All right, here comes the pickup. Here we are, matched up. I'm super psyched that we matched the sucker up. I mean, like I said, he's not gonna score huge, but he's got mass and he's a really nice big buck. So out here you take what you can get and that's a good one. So I'm super pumped. I'll come in here and show you a little closer. Yeah, super cool buck. Big old long eye guard. Eye guard super long. But it's just been baking out here in the sun for who knows how long. 10 years probably. But he's still super cool. Might be worth getting the set restored now that I've kind of got some practice doing that. So, pretty sick. I'm pumped on the board for day two. Shed Stories is going pretty dang good. A ram skull, a nice big set of sheds, and a fun little camping trip. It doesn't get better than that. Holy cow, you guys, I am so tired. I've been going almost nonstop other than sleep last night since about three o'clock yesterday afternoon. I'm hungry and tired and thirsty and burned out. It's been way fun, but I'm I'm done. I'm glad I matched up the big shed. Not the big shed, not the big, big shed, but the big one I found yesterday. That kind of makes the trip worth it for sure. But I'll get them out and show you guys as a set, and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, you guys. was able to get permission to haul this sucker off the mountain from Arizona Game and Fish. Pretty sweet, I'm so pumped. That's a once in a lifetime find, no doubt about it. I'm not sure which I'd pick, a 100 inch shed or this. So which would you choose if you had the choice? Would you pick a once in a lifetime ram skull that you got to keep and take home? Or would you take a 100 inch deer shed? Comment and let me know your thoughts on that, but 
pretty dang sweet. So here is the set together. Actually, he's a pretty dang good buck. So I'm pumped, no doubt about it. Big whitey. And uh, he won't score great because he doesn't have super deep forks, but he's super heavy. He's got that desert buck mass, big tall eye guards. So can't complain about that right there. Heck yeah. So that's it for Shed Stories. Thanks you guys for following along. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and I'll bring you more Shed Stories just like this one. All right, peace out.